Hi! So in this video, we are going to follow my journey creating a commission painting. Uh, that is when a customer or client comes to me with a special request of what they want to see in their painting, different styles of mine that they like, that they want, colors, um, size, etc. Um, in this video, we're going to follow a piece that I did from start to finish for Chad and Elizabeth. Chad came to me and wanted to get a special holiday gift for his wife, Elizabeth, and so there the journey started. So I hope you enjoy watching the process and see what it, how it comes out in the end. <laughs> I start the process with each client by having a phone conversation. We talk about the different imagery that they want to see in the piece, um, any other inspirations for it, size, how the process works, etc. So here are some notes I took from that first conversation I had with Chad and Elizabeth. As you can see, there are stars behind the things that they definitely want to see in their piece. And then there are some other ones that may or may not fit, depending. Uh, from there, we also follow up with many email conversations about inspirations from my website and other ideas and notes that they have about the piece. So this is just the beginning. But from here, I can go out and start to take photographs. One of the locations of this piece is Lover's Lane in the Presidio, so I get to take a little stroll. Their home is on a row of houses called Pilot's Row in the Presidio. It's one of these gorgeous homes. So lucky. They are right next to the Golden Gate Bridge. Look at that. Gorgeous view. Now I get all my tools out and set them all up outside and I start to create the panel that will become the canvas for the piece. After I create the panel, I stretch it with a patterned fabric. Uh, this gives me some inspiration to start the piece as well as uh, lets me not stare at a blank white canvas when I'm ready to start. When I photograph for a commission or any project, I take shots from many angles. Then those come back to my computer and I get to look at the ones and analyze and find the exact right photo that fits the composition that I'm looking for. Here is the painting all laid out with all of its stencils. So these are just the photographs that I've printed onto acetate that will be then transferred onto the painting. But as you can see, I've created the collage from all the different places that have meaning to Chad and Elizabeth. So all these will be incorporated and I'm connecting them and creating a composition that I hope will flow, we'll see, um, all together the first layer of paint. You can't imagine how different it's going to look. I've laid down the first few layers here of screen printing and hand painting. You'll see up in the top left, the lover's lane image that I will be um, doing an underpainting for and then screen printing again on top of. the underpainting for the lover's lane.
Here I've laid down an underpainting for the Chrissy Field part of the composition, and then we will screen print the photograph back on top of this. And here it is with the photograph stencil printed on top. A painting, an underlayer drying in the sun in my backyard. Now that all the base composition layers are screen printed on there, uh, the photographs at least, I can start the work of uh, more of the details and embellishments of the piece. Many of the layers have been done, but there's a few more elements to add. For example, Chad and Elizabeth wanted themselves and their dog Pico uh, portrayed in the piece. So here's a little mock-up of where I want them placed and how it might look. This is also a time where I play around with different design elements and figure out what the piece might need and where, when, what color. Most of the layers are almost completed. This piece is just drying in the sun and letting me get a good look at it in the natural light and waiting to be completely finished. This is the finished piece. I am so happy with it and I hope they are too. This is the point where I get a little nervous though when I go to deliver the piece. Here they are, lucky for me, they were so happy with it. I got an extra thank you note the next day telling me that it was beyond what they even imagined and it just brings me such joy to bring a special, unique piece to every different person that I get to create it for. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about my commission process and how I create paintings in general. Uh, if you want to see more examples of commission projects, you can go to my website, hillaryatthecircus.com, and there's a commission uh, section and a gallery, so you can see more there. And if you have some ideas of your own or you want to ask me a few more questions about it, please uh, send me an email. Thank you!